Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I kind of wanted to bring it back to my favorite videos, which is when we play with new makeup. Today it's going to be a completely affordable video. I have a bunch of different makeup from different brands from the drugstore that I've never tried and I wanted to try it out with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let's hop right into it. I have a feeling that this video might be kind of long, so I always like to get right into it. So we are going to start out with the face first because we have a lot more like complexion products to try out. Okay. That could work. I look stupid, but hey. So like I mentioned in the intro, we have so much to talk about. I don't have a new primer and that's on purpose because I do have a new like little foundation. So I've been actually using sunscreen as my primer every day. Um, this is a sunscreen that I talked about in my favorite. So I figured I could just show it to you guys. So this is the Kroger Sunscreen Invisible Gel SPF 40. This is compared to the active ingredients in the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. So I just wanted to show you guys I like to shake it up and a little bit goes such a long way so I'm just gonna put that all over my face it actually creates like a pretty smooth base and it's hydrating and I really like it and it works with all my other foundations I do have a couple breakouts I have no idea why I'm just like breaking out around my mouth area pretty excited about this so um, I decided to pick this up to try it out with you guys. So this is the brand new Maybelline Green Edition Super Drop Tinted Oil and I got the shade 40. So on the back it says adjustable conditioning coverage skin look like and feel formula with jojoba oil and marula oil. So it just says to shake well and apply. So I'm very excited. I really hope this shade works out for me. They didn't really have very many shades at my Ulta. Um, but remember, we are matching the neck. This might actually work because this is supposed to be like lighter coverage. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not supposed to be like touching my skin with this. Like, I know. It's okay. I'm okay. I'll be okay. So with products like this, I always like to use a brush. So that is what we're going to do today. I don't know how much is too much. I've been loving this brush from Undone Beauty. So I'm going to start blending it out. I really think this is gonna match my neck perfectly. Oh my God, this is blending out so, so quickly. Like, do you guys see this? It is, you know, a little on the oily side. It is an oil. But I wanted to see, you know, with some powder, how this would work out, especially if you do have dry skin. I have normal to dry skin, really just depending on the weather. So far, this blended out literally like a dream. I might have applied a little bit too much on my skin, so I'm gonna grab my sponge and kind of just finish blending it out and of course, taking off any excess. Okay, so this is what the skin is looking like and I have to say, it looks great. It looks almost like I don't have any makeup on. It almost looks like my skin is just this perfected as you can see from my breakouts um it gave me like a light to medium coverage not the lightest coverage but not yet medium so like right in the middle and i have to say it does feel like an oil but it doesn't look like an oil in a good way can we focus camera thank you so it doesn't look greasy which i appreciate so i'm gonna go ahead and see how this works with other products but so far i'm loving this and so far from like first impressions, I'm wondering why nobody else has talked about this. At least I haven't really seen anybody talk about this, but this blended out in two seconds and it looks super natural. So we will see how it works with the rest of the makeup. So far, straight up, 10 out of 10. So far. Okay, so moving on to bronzer. Um, I have a new powder bronzer as well as a cream bronzer. So let's go ahead and use the cream first. Like I told you guys in my last video talking about uh, buy or buy buy or buy i told you guys i would be purchasing the new like little wonder sticks from nyx i've tried the contour and highlight sticks from them from like the original days and they are great and so i'm very excited to try this is more of a bronzer color for me and then this is like a shimmery highlight and then we have two blushes so we are going to try all of this today so again this is called the nyx wonder stick dual ended shaping stick this one's in the shade medium tan 
You can use it more for contour, but I wanted to use it more for bronzer. The original Wonder Stick, if this is anything like it, it blends out seamlessly even if you draw it on your face. But I just want to be a little bit cautious right now and just see what we can do. Oh my god, this is pigmented. Whoa. Um, okay, so, so far pigmentation is great. That's awesome. <laughs> my bad. I just messed up. But you know what, guys? I know this might look crazy, but this is why... <laughs> This is why I like to do my bronzer first and then my concealer because I almost use my concealer as like an eraser for if I mess up my bronzer or contour. This is very pigmented, but it is blending out easily and it's a very, very creamy formula. I'm sure the fact that I'm wearing an oil under helps. It's nice. It's not like super matte, but it's not shiny. It's more of like a satin finish. Yeah, don't look at this side. Look at this side and look how pretty that looks so far. It's really, really going to bother me that my face looks like this. So I think we're going to move into concealer next just to kind of clean it up. I don't have a new concealer for you guys, so I'm just going to use my go-to Too Faced Born This Way. I just bought a brand new one for my wedding, which is so soon. Go to my Instagram right now if you want to know. A big update about the wedding. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this real quick and I'll be right back and then we can keep trying out new products. So I'm back and I am looking a little bit more normal as you can see. So I ended up setting the concealer with my go-to which is the Kosas Cloud Powder and I am using one of the new brushes from the Wet n Wild um, Care Bears collection to just powder the rest of my face and I have to say so far this uh, base is looking really really nice. The oil is not like separating with the powder like Right now, my face is powdered, but it doesn't feel dry. So I do think that so far it is working out really, really well. So I like to set my cream bronzer with a powder bronzer. And so we're gonna do that today with another new bronzer. So this is the Wet n Wild Live Laugh, <laughs> Live Laugh Hug Bear Cares uh, Bronzer. Um, this reminds me of the, of the TikTok. Of course, I'm talking about TikToks. How am I supposed to live, laugh, love in these conditions? Well, today we're live, laugh, and laughing and loving. Okay, look how cute that is. It has a heart, and I think that this might be a really good shade. Um, it looks like a matte, a matte shade. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush. Um, I'll use this fluffy side to kind of diffuse it, and then maybe I'll use this side to contour with it a little bit. So, let's try out this formula. So, first impression. It seems to be more of a buildable formula. It's not super light or super pigmented. It's like a nice in between and I'm seeing that there's no kickback. So that's really nice. It seems like it's pressed a little harder than their usual powders from Wet n Wild, which I kind of like. It's kind of a nice neutral bronzer, right? I mean, it's adding warmth to my skin, but I don't think it looks like super orange. And let's see, I'm gonna grab just a little bit with this brush just to kind of define the cheekbones a little bit. So far I am liking this dual ended brush and obviously it's like really cute. This is super, super nice, I like that. So now let's try the NYX Wonder Stick Dual Ended Cream Blush Stick. This is in the shade Deep Peach. So it does have um, more of like a mauve reddy type of shade. And then on the other side, it's a lighter shade. All these um, like sticks have like a lighter and a darker. And this is more of a coral shade. I tend to gravitate more towards these kinds of shades. I'm going to put a little bit less this time on my brush. Um, now that I see how pigmented they are. And let's just tap it in. This is really pretty. So obviously I went in with a lot of a lighter hand but I really like the shade. It looks really pretty. This is definitely more of like a sump burnt look, which you guys know that I love. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes really quickly and then we'll finish off the face. So um, all I have on my brows right now is the NYX Thick It Stick It um, Brow Mascara. Let me just add a little bit more because I got a little bit of foundation on it. Uh, we don't have a new brow product to try, 
but we do have a new mascara. So I'm just gonna quickly, quickly grab that bronzer again, and I'm just gonna put that all over my crease, um, just to add like a little bit of warmthness to the eye. Okay, so I did add a little bit of liner in the tight line, and now we're gonna go ahead and try this new mascara. So this is also from the Wet n Wild collection with Care Bears, it's just called the mascara. And cute packaging, and this one's interesting because it looks like this. I thought it was gonna be like a silicone wand like they usually do, but this might be more of a volumizing wand. I'm only gonna apply mascara right now on the top lashes. I will show you guys why in a second, but let's go ahead and test it out. I did curl my lashes, and we're just gonna do two coats on each eye and then see the difference. Uh, right now, I can tell that the formula is more of a wet formula but it is distributing on the lashes pretty well. It is giving me like some wispy vibes. I do think it's pretty. It did like the same amount of lengthening and volumizing. Didn't do that much lengthening and volumizing, but I'm gonna let it dry and do a second coat. It does look really pretty, but I do like more dramatic lashes. So I'm gonna let it dry for a minute and then we'll apply the second coat and compare that to absolutely nothing and see what we think about this mascara. All right, so this is the second coat, and I don't know, I like it. I'm not obsessed with it, but I do think it gave me like a really pretty effect. I do like it. I do think, I'm assuming what I'm thinking, but I do think that this might work better for people that already have long lashes. It is making them look really pretty and giving them like a pretty effect, but I wouldn't say it's like helping them get like super, super long and super voluminous. So this to me, for me personally, would be more of like an everyday mascara. So if you do have longer lashes and you want more of a natural look that is like enhanced, I do think you would like this, but if you need a lot from a mascara, this might not be like the mascara for you, if that makes sense. Alrighty guys, so I am back with two coats. Now the reason why I didn't apply on the bottom lashes is because I wanna show you guys, I've already talked about this many times, but if you guys don't know, I like to kind of blend my blush up, and obviously it's hard to do when you have mascara. So let's go ahead and try out this blush. So this is the Wet n Wild Care Bears Do What You Love blush so this is what it looks like the like most bubble oh my god i just swatched it and it literally feels like a mousse like what the heck i don't know what's going on but this is like powdery is it a mousse what is this i'm not sure what's going on it doesn't say anything it's, i think it's just supposed to be a powder like, what is this? I mean, whatever, we're here to try it out. So let's start off slow. Guys, I don't think that this is right. I think something happened to my blush in the, like, I don't know, maybe like while it was like shipping. Um, I'm gonna do the same to the other side, but I think there's something like wrong with it. I've never, ever, ever, ever 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 felt a blush like this and i feel like if it was like a different formula it would say it i know it looks pretty but it looks in person just kind of weird i don't know if you'll be able to see like what i mean by this it's like a like a cream no something's going on and i don't know what's going on so i'm gonna go ahead and not use this anymore the shade is pretty so i don't if you figure out how to use this blush the shade is pretty. Let me go over it with like my go-to blush. That was so weird. I'm just gonna grab my Revlon blush in Marvelous. I like to bring my blush up under my eyes to kind of get rid of these lines of like, like bright highlight. So I just kind of do that and it creates a lot more of a seamless look. It might look crazy at first, but once it blends in. Okay, I have way too much blush on right now. Let's just leave it for now. Let's just leave it. Let's make it work for now. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. So let me put on some mascara on the lower lashes and I'll be right back and we can test out the cream highlighter from NYX and then the highlighter from this collection. So now let's test out the highlighter. So not to get confused with the original Wonder Sticks, this highlighter is like an actual shimmer. It's not just like a highlighting cream matte shade. So this is what it looks like. Um, I don't usually wear cream highlight, but um, because it's on this stick, I figured we could try it out. 
Yeah, it looks pretty. It's a little chunky, a little like glittery for my taste, but it's definitely reflective and it does look pretty. So if you're into like highlights like this, um, I think it's pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. And I think I'm also just going to apply it to like my inner corners. I love a bright inner corner highlight. And so if you kind of do this with like a cream first, and then a highlighter, it lasts forever. So it's pretty, it's not like super chunky. Um, it actually does give like the skin a really nice glow. And I'm about to add little like powder highlight. I don't love wearing this much highlight, but I do it for you guys. So to finish off with these powders, let's try out the Let Your Light Shine um, little highlighter from Wet n Wild Care Bear Collection. This is like a very, pale yellow gold highlight and it has like a little sun let's go in with like a very 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 light hand especially because we already have that cream i mean it's definitely blinding so if you're into a pale yellow gold highlight that is blinding and not very subtle then this is really pretty you guys know i'm more of a subtle girl you know i can appreciate a blinding highlight um i'm gonna go ahead and kind of just maybe blend everything together i like to use more of these blinding highlights for my inner corner i will always have a blinding inner corner highlight so this is how i like to use them because i love having just like a really bright and awakened looking eye so for lips um i want to show you something that's relatively new that I don't think I've used on my channel, but I have told you guys about it on my favorites. So my favorite formula right now for lips is this one. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink uh, Liquid Lipstick. I've shown you guys this one, which is the shade Koi. I also, I've been wearing this one nonstop. So this is the shade Peachy. You can use this without a lip liner and use it to its full potential. I prefer to use a small amount of it um, so it doesn't look too crazy. So first I like to line my lips. This is the shade um, Makeup Talk by Morphe. And I'm gonna go ahead and just overline my lips a little bit and then I'll show you guys how I like applying this product. So you're supposed to shake it. And now the cool thing about this product is that it's literally a liquid lipstick, but it's weird. It like does dry down because it stays on forever like forever but it's not matte so it feels almost like creamy maybe a little bit tacky but not sticky and it lasts all day and um it does have a little bit of shine so i like to add just a little bit right there literally that's all you need and then i just spread it out with my fingers and that's it and it lasts all day long now if you want this to last a little bit longer Make sure you get this product over the lip liner so that the lip liner lasts as long as the lip color. If you do want that vinyl look, then apply it with the applicator completely and it'll be that shiny, nice look. But I don't need that vinyl look. I just love the formula like this. And then I like to just go back into my lip liner and create a little bit of an ombre effect. So pretty, so, so pretty. It's not matte and flat. It looks like a satin lipstick, but it lasts so, so freaking long. Like this is honestly my favorite new lip product in a long, long time. So this is a lip I've been wearing in like the past three of my videos. So let's finish out this look by setting the face. I do have this Wet n Wild Care Bear Get Through the Night setting spray. So it says, bedtime can wait. This lightweight lavender scented setting spray locks makeup in place and keeps shine at bay. It is enriched with niacinamide to help the skin look more resilient while minimizing the appearance of pores. Ooh, this is a really nice spray. Wow, that is such a nice, nice nozzle. Love that love this nozzle i love that it has niacinamide i love the smell i hope it works but <laughs> so far this is really really nice how did we go from looking like a a burnt chicken nugget to 
pretty flawless if I like to say so myself. Alrighty guys, so this is what the makeup looks like. Instead of going through every single product, uh, I'm just going to tell you guys my standout products. So number one, so far I am loving this. I don't know if this would work for you if you have oily skin, but my dry to normal guys and girls here, um, I feel like you might really, really enjoy this. I think this looks flawless. Um, I also really enjoyed this bronzer. Obviously, it's not going to work for every skin tone, but if you do have a lighter to medium skin tone, I do think you're really going to like this. I really did enjoy these Wonder Sticks. They have such great formula. They're blendable, and I like that they're duos and that there's blushes and highlight and bronzer. I feel like you have everything you need in these. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. Like, go buy this. Please go buy this. You're welcome. And I have to say, I really, really did enjoy the setting spray. Um, you know, for a first impression for a setting spray, all you can really base it on is the mister, the smell, and the ingredients. And just the fact that it has niacinamide, it smells good, and it has a good sprayer, I'm going to keep using this and see how well it works with my skin. But overall, I feel like this was a pretty successful makeup day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything below per usual. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. If you haven't entered my giveaway, what are you doing? I will always link it down below until the giveaway is over. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.